What's up, students? Welcome to science. We're going to take a moment and explore the science Schoology course. Let's take a look. This is the essential question we're going to be answering in this screencast. How does Schoology help me stay organized and be effective in science? Let's take a look. When you first open Schoology, you're going to be greeted with the sidebar over on the left. Let's click the materials in the tab and see what we've got. Here is all the resources that we need in class. For example, the very top resource is a pacing guide. This is extremely useful if you want to know what's happening each day, or if you're absent, you know what you might miss. Down below, you see other folders like course resources and each of the unit folders. Let's go ahead and delve into one of the unit one folders. Here's an example of a unit folder. It's full of many lessons that we'll do over a long period of time, many weeks. In each of these folders, if you click them open, you're going to see a few items. You might notice that each of the items have certain numbers. This is telling you a little bit about that item and where it's found. For example, 161 represents Unit 1, Lesson 6, and the first item. I really recommend that you go in order in Schoology, starting from top and working your way down through each of the items. Inside a lesson folder, you're going to see a lot of different things. For example, you might take an assessment or do some practice. There might be some assignments that go in the notebook. Or you might do some assignments on Schoology and turn them in there. Or you may be doing a group discussion. Anything is fair game, and they're all here to help you learn. Some items have completion rules. Look below each item or folder to find these must-complete check marks. If they're gray, turn them green. Try to get those items complete because they may go in the gradebook. Let's check the updates tab now. The update tab is going to be used periodically just to give you some quick information. If TPOP is gone, for example, he might send you a message letting you know where you need to go that day or what you need to be doing. You can always turn on notifications on your smart device to get these updates. Now let's go check the grades tab. Remember, the grades tab isn't what's used for your grades. It's just a little informative piece. Infinite Campus is where your grades are going to go. But there's some still some useful information here. Check this out. This is the grade weighted breakdown for the course. This lets you know what each things are worth. Also in the grade section, you might see comments or feedback. This also lets you know if you submitted assignments or not by a little paper icon or submitted a quiz or not by a little puzzle icon. You might also see some rubrics for different projects that we do. Lastly, I want to let you know that if you have any questions, feel free to contact TPOP using the Schoology Messenger app. Also check out the resources. There's probably some important information on the syllabus, as well as other help and support that might be really useful. See you in class.